You know, when my Republican colleagues cozy up to neo-Nazis and the Proud Boys and white supremacist groups. Mr. Chairman? Yeah. Mr. Chairman, I find that offensive that the gentleman would make a broad statement like that. And I think that he should back that up with any individual, but not a broad group. That would be inappropriate for me yep. and untrue. That don't worry, I'm getting to the part you'll like. Well, okay. I don't, perhaps you are. I find it <clears throat> offensive that you have used this forum. Sure, no problem. Donald Trump, Donald Trump had dinner with a Holocaust denier at his house. You want, you want more facts? Th then use that, sir. Sure, no problem. When my Republican colleagues support a president of the United States who's having dinner with a Holocaust denier at his house and they remain silent, silence is complicity. Uh, when, Mr. There are Nazi, when there are Nazis... Mr. Chairman, Mr. Sessions. I would like my time Mr. back. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, well, I'm, yeah, sure, I'm sure you'll get that back. Broad statements are inappropriate and are not worthy of this hearing. I I know you're you in want, denial that he had dinner. I, I, with the I, I was dinner. unaware of it. So for you to assume that. Oh, I was national news for like it, a week. I, that, that matters not. not. Okay. What I'm trying to say, Mr. Chairman, yeah. is this hearing needs to stay very cordial and very much on the level. And attacks like this are exactly why our country is going through what we're going through. And Mr. The Chairman, there needs to be a, there needs to be a, a point of order, actually, in this. There's no point of Thank order. You, I, I, call, I called nobody out other than the the former president of the United States, Donald Trump. That is Trump. not correct, sir. You referred to Republicans. Mr. Chairman, there needs to be a point of order, that please. Is, Mr. Chairman, I would ask that you please admonish the people of this commit, subcommittee and that we are trying to make progress together. Mr. Chairman, to there needs to be a point of order. Other. Yeah, and I'd like we, my we, time back, Mr. We, we need a point of order. You, you will get your time back. We're not running the clock. Okay. If, if there's no point of order, just continue. All right, thank you, Mr. Chairman. So I'll go back to what I was previously saying, is that when Republican colleagues, not all of them, but some Republican colleagues cozy up to neo-Nazis and the Proud Boys and white supremacist groups. Mr. Chairman, but, I would sir, like for you we, to we, please. Sir, there's no point we, of order here. A point of order. I, I know this okay. is uncomfortable, but I, I, wanna, I wanna get through this. So it's just a paragraph, and, and we'll be fine. So, so much for free, free speech. When uh, some of my Republican colleagues cozy up to neo-Nazis, Proud Boys, and white supremacist groups because they are their voters, and when President Trump hosts Holocaust deniers at Mar-a-Lago, sometimes we hear silence from our friends uh, on the right. When Nazis are holding rallies in the streets, when mass murderers go into synagogues or grocery stores and have Nazi symbols or anti-Semitic dossiers under white nationalism or Christian nationalism, we actually don't hear silence, we hear denial.